Hi, everybody. That, that's a song called Celia, which is my mother's name. And before that was a song called Alpha, Son, Alpha, Centa, Alpha Centauri. Jeez, I'll get it right. Alpha Centauri, which is the name of a star system, the closest one to our home system. Uh, which takes me back to my days at the University of Oregon and Dr. Ebbinghausen's uh, astronomy class. But we don't want to go there right now. Uh, anyway, welcome, welcome. Nice to have you all here. And we got some fun in store for you tonight. And I want to thank Stoller Family Estates. Did I say that right? <laughs> Uh, Stoller Family Estates, for sponsoring the show tonight. They have great wine, and it's a, a very beautiful winery if you ever want to take a trip out to it. Is it actually in Dundee? Yeah. It's it's gorgeous. So And they do a lot of events, and you can, you know, you can have an event out there. It's beautiful. Stoller Family Estates. We'll, we'll be talking a little bit more about that as we go. But before we do, we have a wonderful guest tonight. Uh, I've had him on before. He's uh, he's great. A young trumpet player that I'm sure if you haven't heard about him, you will be hearing much more about him as time goes by. <laughs> so without further ado, Justin Copeland, come on up and join me on the stage. This is Justin Copeland. Yeah, everybody. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, man. So we're going to play some tunes. We'll, uh, we'll be weaving in and out of various genre. And, uh, and, in the, and, and I, I'm always open to requests. If, you, if you're you know, by your screen and you think of a song that you want to hear, it doesn't have to be one of my songs. Uh, it can be any, anything. If we know it, We'll we'll take a run at it. So, uh, but let's start with uh, I think this is a Gershwin tune, uh, but not for me. And uh, featuring Justin Copeland on the trumpet. Oh, and watch for there's a uh, there's a line in this song that makes no sense, and I'll give you a nod when it happens. But I just think that. I think George just kind of, uh, you know, ran out of ideas or something uh, on that line. <laughs> I'll give you a wink and a nod.
they're writing songs of love, but not for me. A lucky stars above, but not for me. Love to lead the way. I've found more clouds of gray than any Russian play could ever guarantee. I was a fool to fall and get this way. Hi ho, also and lack a day. Although I can't dismiss the memory of her kiss, don't you know she's not for me? Justin Copeland on trumpet. Welcome, everybody. We are so glad you're all here. Thanks for tuning in, and thanks for joining us. We are on Facebook, not tonight. So uh, for those of you that are watching on Facebook or trying to watch on Facebook, um, you'll notice that we're not there. So we're on YouTube, and you can grab the link in the chat. And I did post it also on Facebook. So um, we're so happy to have Justin here, and we're just thrilled to be back at Class of Pianos. and. For those of you tuning in for the first time in a while, we're going to try to do this about once a month. So we'll stream either from home or from classic and right. make sure we come out to you. So uh, there's a virtual tip jar if you're feeling tipsy. <laughs> and we welcome you to, uh, to stop by there and uh, also to stop by Stoller Family Estate, our wonderful sponsors for tonight. So Yahoo. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Rachel. Glad you could be here. And our crew with uh, Rainy and God, why does that name slip well, away Jordan's from Jordan's here too. Yes, and we Jordan. Also have Grace tonight. Oh, and Grace. The lovely Grace yes. is here with us tonight. Yeah. Jordan, I don't know why I forget your name, but it's I I I, I looked it up on the map. I know where the country of Jordan is <laughs> before I got here. Oh, man. 
So, what would you like to do? Justin, Justin, just in time, I found you before. Uh, how about like someone in love? Perfect. And I'll let you play the melody. Is that all right? See.
Justin Copeland on trumpet, everybody. He's so great. Mike Cantrell had a request. Uh -huh. If you guys have any sting. So I noticed huh. Fragile's on your set list, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, thanks. Uh, yeah, Mike is my buddy up in Seattle, and he's he's the one that introduced me to the idea of having a live stream show about two years ago or two and a half years ago. He just called me up and out of the blue and said, man, here's something you could do. And, you know, it was just the pandemic was just starting to set in and grab us all by the the hair. <laughs> and... <laughs> and uh, yeah, and Mike says, this is something you could do, and uh, by God, yeah, we did it, and, and, and it's, a, it's been a lot of fun. We've had a lot of, uh, a lot of wonderful guests, and it's just, it's really a nice thing, and, I, and I'm, you know, I'm not that tuned in to uh, all the, the modernity of it, and uh, so I got, I got acquainted with it, and it's been a lot of fun. I get to play with guys like Justin. What song are we doing? That's fragile. That's her request. What, what? Oh, yeah, 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 fragile, fragile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike made <laughs> this request. <laughs> okay. A song written by Sting, the great Sting.
Yeah, that's a really pretty song. We we could have probably gone on and on <laughs> into the night on that one. It's amazing what you can do with three chords. You can just I know. Play all night. I, I know. Three chords. Really pretty.
wonderful. Thank you both. We are just loving this. Um, and I know everyone online is too. And uh, we have got some more requests maybe after the quick break. We're going to take just about a minute or so break and take you out to Stroller Family Estate ah, with a little great. video interlude. But before we do, I thought maybe you'd want to uh, describe a little bit, Justin, if you would like to, um, about the rosé that you and Tom are sampling. Let me speak into the mic. I would love to. So for those of you who don't know, uh, Justin has a <coughs> fragrance channel on YouTube, and I'll post the link in the, uh, in the chat, and is quite a well-respected fragrance expert. So he's accustomed to describing <laughs> lovely things. I'll do my best. Thank you, <laughs> Rachel. Um, we have two lovely bottles up here. I'm not going to grab this big, crazy, heavy one. I'm going to grab this little small one here. I feel <laughs> like I should be holding it. But yeah, this is the Stoller Family 2021 Willamette Valley Pinot Noir Rosé. Mm -hmm. And it's refreshing. Now, you're talking to a rosé guy. If I had to pick any wine to drink from now till forever, it's rosé. So we picked a good one for the evening, I got to say. As I said, super, super refreshing, very aromatic. Um, got lots of juiciness, lots of tartness. It's kind of acidic in a way. But there's a little bit of a fruity sweetness. You got some nectar and some uh, strawberry in there. But like I said, citrusy as well with some pomelo grapefruit. And it finishes really, really smooth with some white tea. Uh, so it's very refreshing. A lot of people like to save their rosé for the summertime. I say drink it all year round. Why not? But yeah, that is the uh, 2021 Pinot Noir rosé from Stoller Family Estate. We couldn't have said it better ourselves. Wow. <laughs> Man. Thanks, you guys. So uh, <laughs> just to let you know before we do watch a little video that anyone who makes a contribution, a little visit to the virtual tip jar tonight, will have a chance to win a tasting for four out at Stroller. So um, you might even convince Justin and his lovely fiance Grace to head out there with you. So <laughs> 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 I don't think you guys have been out there yet. Um, so please, uh, please enjoy the video, and thanks again for being here tonight. So we had a request for this song. Uh, it's an original song of mine called Bernie's Groove. Uh, it was on one of my records from God knows when. <laughs> uh, uh, 19 something, you know, in the 1990s maybe. And uh, it was a song I wrote for my kitty named Bernie. Uh, I'm not sure why, I don't know if it sounds like a, a kitty. But here it is for you anyways, it's called Bernie's Groove.
Yeah. yeah. Justin Copeland on trumpet. Fantastic. Man, oh man. So uh, we're, we're grooving in all kinds of genres tonight. Have you got a favorite, something you'd like to do, mm. Justin? It doesn't have to even be on the list. We, we should do a ballad. Yeah. How about Body and Soul? Body and Soul. You bet. All right. You got it. <laughs> do you know who wrote this? Green? Johnny Green? Dennis Johnny Green? Gosh, I don't even know. I want to say it's Johnny Green. Well, uh, I'm sure uh, one of our... Uh, one of our... Uh, watchers out there that, that likes to research things like Jim uh, anyway Johnny Green oh excellent all right here's a song called Body and Soul
was nice. <laughs> oh. Do we have anything out on the uh, request line out there? Steve Copeland sent you a congratulations. <laughs> I'm guessing he's related. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> how nice, how nice. Well, this is a lot of fun. Let's see. So, to follow up from the pretty ballad. Oh, let's f first, yeah, let's do that after we do okay. Billy's Bounce. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And now, for the first time in my life, I have a friend named Billy. <laughs> and uh, she's out there. I don't know if she's listening, but Billy, this is for you, baby. <laughs> one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs>
broke my fingernail in the middle of that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah, that's called Billy's Bounce. There you go, Billy. Hope you like that. The day, the days. Let's see if I can sing in this key. Of wine and roses. That's kind of high. Hmm. The days. Do you know this? Do you know this? Of wine and roses. Key of C. Laugh and run away. Like a child at play. Through the meadowlands and toward a closing door. A door marked nevermore. That wasn't there before. This heart of mine discloses just a passing breeze filled with memories of the golden smile you introduced me to. The days of wine and roses and you. Go, Justin. This heart of mine discloses just a passing breeze filled with the memories of the golden smile you introduced me to. The days of wine and roses days of wine and roses the days of wine and roses and you and you
Oh, nice. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, Thank you. for tuning about in. about 10 minutes left. 10 minutes left. It's about 10 minutes left, so before we go into the closing, there are a couple more requests, and we do want to remind folks that this is a great time to show your appreciation with a little visit to the virtual tip jars, tip jars online. Yes. Uh, they're on your screen on Venmo and PayPal. They're also all over the chat. Um, we do appreciate it. These live streams come to you about once a month, and... They are, they are made possible by our sponsors and donors like you, so thank you for showing your support. And, Tom, you have your finger up. Oh, we got <laughs> uh, no, I hurt my finger. <laughs> no. You hurt your finger. Oh, I, I wanted to, did we do Jerusalem already? Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. here's a song that's going to be on my next album. I don't know when that's coming out. And, and by gosh, I don't know what to call these anymore. Is it an <laughs> album? Is it a CD? Is it a work of art? Is it my latest uh, hatching? Uh, I just don't not know what to call it. It's not a cassette. What's that? It's not a yeah. cassette. Well, I, I just thinking that that would be a great way to kind of trick everybody, you know. Is this, yeah, I'm putting this one out on cassette. Mm -hmm. Your latest 8-track is coming out in three years. 8-track. <laughs> hey, I forgot about 8-track. Justin's track. laughing. He doesn't. No, this is, this is a song I that... This is called Jerusalem, and it'll be on my new, my new record, Al Albion. Uh, I'm hoping that it comes out in 2022, but it, I don't know. We're, we're taking our time with it. Doug Durbro, this is dedicated to you and all the great work you have done on my albums all through the years. 30 of them. I think you missed two of them because I was with a record label or whatever. I don't know. But uh, I just want to get in the mood. This is called Jerusalem.
that track on the new record, Justin is playing. <laughs> so it's just, uh, I'm so happy I'm, I'm so happy I met you. Oh. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, uh, how about an, another request? And that's going <coughs> to probably be it, right? <coughs> you okay out there? <laughs> I got y'all <laughs> choked up. Oh. I didn't see this on your set list. The nearness of you. Oh, actually, didn't did we do this already? Nearness? No. No, no, we didn't do it. Is this not the pale moon? Well, Is this not? Do you know it? Kind of. Kind of. You would. I know the song. Yeah, I know it, yeah I'll. Super, super close. I'll try. I'll make it. Yeah. I'll try to make it clear. It's not the pale moon. This is written by Hoagie Carmichael. I know that. Anybody with a name like Hoagie, you can't forget that. <laughs> it's not the pale moon that excites me, that thrills and delights me. Oh, no. It's just the nearness of you. Isn't your sweet conversation that brings this sensation? Oh no, it's just the nearness of you. I'm in your arms And I feel you so close to me On my wildest dreams Come true Isn't your sweet conversation that brings this sensation? I hold you ever so, so tight. To feel in the night the nearness of you. Take it, Justin. I feel you so close to me on my wildest dreams really do 
come true I need no soft lights to enchant me if you just grant me the right to hold you ever so tight and to feel in the night That's all, folks. Good night. Thanks to the Stoller Family Estates for sponsoring the show. Thanks to all of you. <laughs> Thanks to Jordan, Rainey, our crew, and Rachel for helping out with the online stuff. Are we done? Are, are are we over time? No. Whenever you're ready. Oh, really? Okay. Well, uh, and special thanks to my man here, Justin Copeland, and uh, Grace. Is that your lady's name? Yeah, and Grace, his fiance, and all of you who are listening. We really appreciate doing. I love doing these shows. Mike Cantrell. Thank you, man. If it wasn't for you, uh, I, I wouldn't have done n none of this. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks, Rachel, once again. And, and take care, everybody out there. Be careful and uh, have some fun. And we'll see you next time.